This is the 200 challenge and we are down 249 kilos, way ahead of target, exciting. The world is a little bit strange right now, shipments are not working as usual, so the thing that I was supposed to do today, widening the rear fenders, putting the carbon fiber there, that's gonna happen next episode. Instead, we're gonna look at some of the other things that I have to do here in the front. We're gonna look at how we apply modern manufacturing technique and get a super lightweight fan unit in there. And we're also going to take the measures, make a mock-up of my final fuel cell unit so that we can get an order in for that and get that eventually delivered. Let's have a look. In one of the previous episodes, we took this whole thing out. That's the ventilation for heat and left side, right side, whatever. Uh, we're gonna replace that with this because I only need fresh air in my car. And to get that done, we need to figure out how to connect this vent here because air comes in here and it needs to go into these two here. The top one goes up to the windscreen and the other one goes into the, the ventilation in the, into your face. And uh, we need to connect this with this and then this with that. So I'm gonna measure how this area looks and then we're gonna fabricate something to, to figure all this out. I'm going to reuse the little gasket that you have there originally. So uh, let's just put that back where it used to be and we start from there. The air comes in here. And we got this little flappy flap here. And we need to fabricate something so that the air comes into the circular piece on the right here. And then it comes out for, for this little square piece here. And that then needs to go into this area here. Top one is for the windscreen. Lower one goes towards your face and the, the main cabin. It's a very awkward shape in there. I bolted the, the fan to a piece of wood that I just found the, the right width of. So the fan is now directly below this one, exactly centered. And I've marked up exactly where it is. So I'm gonna replicate this now in the computer so that I can get this fabricated. So if you haven't already figured that out, we're gonna 3D print these parts. And uh, based on the first mock-up, we do a first design, we go down, print it, we try it out see if it fits, if it doesn't, we adjust it and we go down to print again. It's an iterative process like that, so it takes quite a while to do it. Uh, I'm using a CAD to, to draw up these parts and luckily, 12, 13 years ago, something like that, I was actually a designer. So, luckily, I also have a good memory, so I remember how to do this. So design it up here, go down, print it, and we see what we get. So what I think is the first design here looks really pretty, but I'm sure it's not gonna fit. So I need to print it to see how bad it is, and then we redo it from there. So I'm down in the garage. I got my first design done for the, the upper part. So I'm gonna print this first and uh, try it out and, and see how I like it. Uh, printing with PLA, which is the simplest to use material, I brought the printer down to the garage because this one is gonna take almost 16 hours to get done. So wow, it's gonna take a while. So. I'm gonna leave this one be here and it's gonna have fun for a while and uh, we we'll see tomorrow how it looks. So 17, 16, 17 hours later, this is, this is what we got. Uh, I did have a mishap during the print during the end here and I did try to repair that before I took it off. Uh, I think the filament got stuck here a little bit. So this is how it looks, got a little bit of supporting structures that I can just take out here. Uh, what I can see is I made it a little bit too thin and I made this out of a, a plastic called PLA. Maybe I should have made it out of nylon instead to, to make it a little bit stronger, ABS. Uh, let's see how it fits over there. So here's the idea with this one. Got a nice little snorkel on it here takes the air in here and then it comes back here and needs to go up here. I'm also gonna take a tube out here so that I can put some fresh air in my face or somewhere over there. So it looks like I got somewhat of a decent fit for the first one here. Um, second one is on the move. This is the one that is gonna go between the fan and the car. 
and uh, it's got 20 hours left. Yeah, a lot of waiting time on this. Tinkering away with this I am and I'm making some really good progress. It uh, fits really nicely. I got the, the vent out there for the driver's side, so I'll have to put a hose there. Uh, I have blocked off the, the vent that goes to the windscreen. I probably don't need that actually now that I think about it. Uh, I'm getting some good air out from here, so, so really there's some, some good punch in that little fan there. I'm printing the next version of it here, because really when you, when you do this, you have to try it over and over again and unfortunately it takes like 15 hours in between the prints so it's a slow progress but i'm gonna get it it's soon gonna be time to prime the car so i want to make sure i take all the unnecessary bracketing out of the car before i get into that Here we go. So uh, this idea with taking the battery reinforcement, that was a really stupid one. I, I should not have done that. Uh, the idea, of course, is that in my new design, if you look at Frunky Business, uh, I'm going to have a completely different distribution here. And the battery is going to be up there, so I didn't need that. Uh, it turned out it's really, really difficult to get that out without damaging stuff, so I'm going to spend time at fixing that up now. But we live and we learn, I guess. So let's look at the, the carbon box mock-up that I've made for the, for the fuel tank. So this is what it is. It just has two cutouts in the back. Other than that, it's, it's a square box. Uh, the way that these come, and this is going to come from Nuke Performance, uh, and the fuel cell is made by Pyrotect in US. So this is an aluminum box, essentially, and inside the box you have a fuel, fuel bladder. Uh, and the, the logic there is if, if something hits this and the aluminum box deforms, the fuel bladder still keeps the stuff on the inside, keeping you safe, keeping the fuel on the inside. Uh, I'm also leaving an air gap in between here to, to just give it a little bit space towards everything else. Uh, this one then has the, the fuel cell unit here, which has the pump, the level gauge. It has fuel out, fuel in, venting, and also has a non-return valve, so if you turn upside down, the fuel also can't fall out. Uh, so I wanted to take the time while the printer is going nuts over there to, to do this because it takes a few weeks before I can get this unit back. Uh, so I've done that now. Let's check out the print and see if we can finish the fan. So this is hopefully the last go around. So I, I did some changes this time. Uh, as you can see, I got two colors that was not on purpose. The green one was almost out before I went to sleep. So I didn't want to wake up and not have a finished print. So I changed to the white one. You can do that with 3D printing. Sometimes it looks cool. This was not intentional. Uh, so what I did with this one, I, I made some changes. Uh, I, I redirected the flow. So the flow comes in from here. So I, I put some fins in here to direct more of the flow towards the cabin. I also put fins here so that the little air that goes up to the windscreen, that it actually goes over to the sides as well, because I, I could see before that it was really only going to, to the middle opening in the windscreen there. So I did that. Uh, I also improved the, the little uh, seatings I have here for, for the nuts. So, so there we go. Uh, I have it together. It's, it's actually pretty sturdy. Uh, I think this is going to take the vibrations of, of the car, actually. This is not very heavy, but uh, still, you know, you, you need to, to make sure for those bumps that it doesn't break apart. So this is what we got. So we got the whole unit in there. I did put a little bit of glue up towards this, this rubbery thing. Uh, we got the little snorkel here for the driver. And I'll probably have to fabricate a little seal here in the bottom for the future. And uh, we have uh, this little tool. This is instead of self-tapping screws. So it has small little poppets that you put in and you clinch them. And then you have a thread there, and that's good for a thing like this, in my opinion, if you need to disconnect it and so on. So got it in, let's hook it up and see how it works. I've uh, hooked it up with the 12 volt connector. 
turn it on and it does work it does work I'm getting just a little bit up on the windscreen not so much but just a little bit and it is plenty down here and that's what I wanted manufacturing stuff like this is really cool and it's really fun but it does sure take a long time it took more than a week recording this episode because this one took 15 hours came out broken and it didn't fit these three prints they just stopped this one here yeah, it stopped as well and it's not holding together this one here came out almost perfect it's really sturdy really nice but it's the wrong fit and then we have this one that came out really nice and it does work uh, I could perfect it perfect the fins get a little bit more air out here and so on maybe I'll put the time in to do that maybe I'll manufacture a few more give to friends and and so on let's see what I do with that uh, I think that because how this one is ducted I think this is going to be way sufficient because as you drive with the car the faster you drive the more air you get in through here and that's going to just fuel the fuel the air and then really get it uh, get it flowing nice there so really happy with this one and of course the difference going from this to this is remarkable this one with everything in controller everything is nine and a half kilos this is one kilo so pretty big difference in my previous episode when I took this out I guessed that this was going to weigh one and a half since it weighs one kilo I'm actually down half a kilo what I also did in this episode was take all this bracketing out which is a little bit more than one kilo so I'm going to count one kilo for this episode meaning that next episode is 250 kilos down yay there we go that's it for today so I did have some fortune here towards the end of the episode I got these ones in which means we have a full schedule for next episode that's going to be really cool and also really scary because I have no idea how to cut the fenders off the car uh, we had a lot of fun today I, I do really enjoy doing these kind of things and if you enjoy this channel please subscribe your feedback means a lot to me See you next time.